Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up XAMPP and how you can run PHP files and PHP websites with XAMPP in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system. So let's get started. First, go to this URL, click on the link in the description below and you'll be taken here. Click on this download latest version here and you'll have to wait for this many seconds and your download will start. So as you can see, the download is now started. Let's wait till the download is finished. While the download is finishing up, let me show you what I have here. So I have this website here. So if I click on this login.html, as you can see, I'll be taken here and it's just a normal username and password and login form. So if I type something here and click on login, as you can see, I'm seeing my PHP code, but this is not what needs to happen, right? So if my password is correct, I need to be taken to welcome page. If it is strong, I need to be redirected to the login page itself or something like that, right? So that is not what is happening right now. All the PHP file is being just shown here. That is because we don't have a PHP server set up right now. So that is what we will be doing with XAMPP. So as you can see, XAMPP download is now complete. Now you can just click on open file or go to the downloads folder and double click to open it and your XAMPP installer will start. If you see this warning, just click on OK. Now click on next and leave all these selected here. We will need PHP my admin my skin and all this stuff later. Click on next again and this is where your XAMPP will be installed. If you don't have storage left in C, you can change this by clicking this and you can choose any folder or any drive of your choice. Now I'll just leave it at default and click next. Click next again and click next and finally your XAMPP is installing. So as you can see, XAMPP is now finished installing and it is asking do you want to start control panel. Keep it checked and just click on finish and your XAMPP control panel will open. Now once the XAMPP control panel is open, just click on start in Apache and click on start in MySQL. But we don't need MySQL for now because we don't have a database. So once this is running, what happens is Apache server will be started and Apache server will execute PHP files not like the way it was showing directly on page. So what we can do is you can copy or cut this folder from here and we need to move it to this directory where XAMPP is installed. So open an explorer and go wherever your XAMPP is installed. Go inside that and you'll find this stdocs folder here. Go here and just paste your file here. So let me rename this so that a name is a bit easier and let's call it my website and this is what will open your website now so go back to your browser and now this is not the path now if you are running your website this way it will still show php code here right because we have not uh, in any way i've moved the file so it is not working so what we need to do is we need to run our website through apache web server so we do, we'll do localhost slash what is my website name here and it is now opening this directly so we want to open login page then i'll type login.html hit enter and as you can see login page is now open and now if i enter password here and do login this time as you can see welcome.php is executed and it's not showing the code as it was before so to do this, make sure you have Apache running so that Apache can execute your PHP file. If I stop this and if I go back and if I do something again here, this time it will not work because our Apache server is not running. So this is how you can run PHP files from XAMPP. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.